Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCG live stream. I know it's been a, probably like a month and a half since I've streamed, but really since school started and since I'm really busy and I also don't have great internet and I got a lot of people living in my house because I have an apartment downstairs. It's really hard to live stream, um, but you know, I got some time to live stream and I haven't done it in a while and I really did feel like doing it. So hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully we don't experience any lag. Hopefully everything goes fine and we can just chill. I'm just going to be testing out some different archetypes. And uh, right off the bat, we already got some people in this chat here. Josh Lutz, hey, how you doing, bro? And uh, Pokemon Trainer Devin, yo, sh shout out to you, by the way. Um, but yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. How you doing? Yeah, I just thought I'd live stream. Gonna try out some different archetypes for a bit. Just, you know, play some decks. I had some time to stream, so I was like, why not to stream? I do want to try out this Noivern Altaria deck. Been testing this out recently. Um, I have this, like, Lucario Macargo Garboder deck I want to try out, too. So, I got some archetypes I want to test out here. Got some decks to test on stream. You're going to have some fun today. I do miss streaming, but again, it's just, it's kind of hard for me to stream with everything going on with college, bad internet, and, you know, having a lot of people in my house at once. So, it's pretty, pretty tough, but I got some time today. So, I was like, let's just stream. Screw it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try out some decks. Just going to wait for some people to get in the stream. Might make a few decks. Um, Cake Pop GX hype. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Blasafion. I think that's how you pronounce it. That name is going to give me nightmares trying to pronounce. Uh, doing good. Ready for Lost Thunder. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that set. Um, it's a huge set. There's so many de decks to make on that set. It's going to be pretty good. Um, Lou, welcome to the stream. How you doing? And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be trying out some different decks again. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, there's some archetypes I want to try out. Get some games in. You know, I can include some stream games and some videos, which I like doing. Kind of saves me some time. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna quickly wait for some people to pop in, and then we can start playing. Um, but I do have a lot of different decks I want to play. We're gonna be going, jumping from probably both Standard and Expanded, um, because, you know, Portland's coming up. But also, there are some Standard decks I want to try out. I've had this, like, Blaziken Arceus spread deck built for a while. I haven't really, I haven't really tried it yet. Like, I, I've played it, but I haven't, like, full-on, like, tried to, like, make a video on it. So, this is definitely something I'm excited for. Yeah, it, it's a funny name for Blasafion. I mean, it is, basically does. It's like a little uh, candy thing. But, yeah, I wanna, we're going to probably try out this deck here, this Blaziken Arceus deck. I don't know if I really feel like having the Heat Rain and the Reshiram is really needed, to be honest with you. I don't know which one's better. Like, Reshiram is good. Heat Rain's also kind of good, though. Both have, like, really decent first attacks. I don't really know which one's better. To have, because I probably don't need both of them, if I'm being quite honest with you. But uh, this is just basically a spread deck, because even Blaziken's Firestream can spread. So this is like a, a spread deck kind of thing I built. We're going to probably test out this. Um, I do want to try out this deck here, my Lucario Garboder Macargo deck. I've had this built for a bit, and I really do want to make this, you know, make a video on this deck. So I'm probably going to get that done very soon. So there are some archives I do I want to play here. Zoark Sogaleo. I was going to make a video on this deck, but the deck just sucked in my opinion. I didn't really like it. So uh, we'll probably just start playing some games now. Um, don't know what to play first, to be honest. I might just have to play my Lucario Garb deck. Why not? Um, I can also record here. So I get this in a video. Saves me some time. But we're going to try out some Lucario Macargo Garboder here. Basically, the idea of this deck, it's kind of similar to like Buzz Garb in like a weird way. You know, Lucario's a big fighting type attacker. Um, Garboder's good in the late game. He can clean up games. So, yeah. Uh, yo, Fury, yo, uh, OMG, it's Sark. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Have you ever tried Greninja GX spread? I've tested out Greninja Coco like a few times in the past. It was okay. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, I do like, I mean, Greninja's okay. It's, I think Greninja GX is kind of like a forgotten about card, though. Um, if I, if I make the deck, it looks like a fast-running deck. I'll name it Sugar Rush. I mean, it kind of is. I think Blasifion with, like, the Ganadel is going to be a pretty prominent archetype. So, we'll see what we can do. We did prize... I think we prized... What, did we prize Shup it? Yeah, we did. Okay, we did actually prize another Riolu. So, we prized one of our Riolus. I think we're playing against Malamar. It's pretty safe to say we we could be playing against Basimian actually. I think. I'm gonna grab a Ranguru too, just so I have some draw support here. I might just hold this hand, because next turn we can just acro bike with Macargo, so I think I'll do that. But uh yeah, we'll uh just chill with the hand we got. But yo, thanks for everyone stopping by in the stream. I know it's been a while since I've live streamed, but again, 
kind of just comes down to like, do I have the time to stream? Nah. It's hard to stream too with Nia. My internet's not great. You know, I got a lot of people living in my house because I do have a little apartment in the basement. I really love being Silvali fighting deck with honestly Prism. Yeah, I think Silvali's like pretty underrated. There's like a lot of talk about like Silvali Lapras, you know. But yeah, Silvali fighting could work. I I do have a Silvali fighting deck built, I think. I'm pretty sure I do for this new format. I don't know how I feel about the Malamar matchup, though. I think this is, like, one of your worst matchups, because Lucario kind of loses to Malamar. Just, we'll see, though. We do have Bayonet and, you know, Garboder. They're here for a very specific reason. We'll see, though. We didn't really get a great start, though. Alright, so they're going to get rid of another Lily. They're going to grab, looks like, a Malamar. So they're going to be able to do Filch here, so they're not going to be doing much. Mimikyu isn't really a big issue. Like, he could copycat Trash Lanch, I guess, which is something to note. But Garboder even gets KO'd by Malamar. Uh, we drew a Diancie. I mean, Diancie with Choice Band is 170. With a Kakui, we get hit for 190. I think he's just playing a vanilla version, though. But I think we'll play Diancie just so we can draw the extra card. With the Ranguru, but we will be able to acro bike. I guess we'll grab Cynthia. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's like a way we could rig it to we can Guzma and then like Lucario because I would, I would consider doing that to uh, one of the in case try and knock it out while I can. Um, if you survive a hit, you can Contagious beat down. Yeah, that's kind of the idea here, but I don't know. Like if he's playing Dawn Wings, you know, I don't know if I can do that. I think we do get Cynthia here. Gotta hope we also get Shop It Off the prizes very early on, too. Bayonet's gonna be really good in this matchup, I think, if he's playing the Necrozma version. Alright, let's see what we get. He has played a couple items, though, which is nice. Okay, wow, we didn't get an energy. That's rip. I guess we'll just have to pass. Save the Garboder. No point in evolving it if, you know, we aren't gonna attack. Sorry if you can hear a dog bark. That's even annoying me. Um, I want people's opinions on this. Zork Lugia GX. It's interesting. I think Lugia GX is fine, you know. It's got a decent resistance. Uh, both, all of its attacks are, like, okay. I think it'll be okay with Malamar, if, like, I'm gonna really say Malamar, Vikavolt. Those are really, like, the two ways I think you can play it. I don't know. I think, like, DC heavy decks. I mean, that deck, you'd have to play a lot of DC, so, right, Josh? You know? You'd have to play, like... You have to attach, like, two DCs on your Lugia, and then it gets knocked out. You don't want special charge anymore, so I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah, just, like, Malamar or Vikavolt just sounds better. Okay, so he's played five items, so Garboder's hitting for 130. We don't play Shrine in this deck. I think we don't. I don't, I can't remember, but that'd be good tech in this deck. Tech, so Shrine actually combo well with Lucario. But then we'd have to probably bump up the Ace Roll account. Alright, so he's gonna pass. We drew a Fight Energy. We do have access to Kikui, so we're gonna be able to guarantee a knockout here. But then he, then he just knocks me out with Moon's Eclipse. Wow. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't think Lucario one-shots Dawnwings either, even with, like, every, like, booster that I have. So that's pretty bad. This is a bit of a tough spot to be in. This matchup is kind of annoying. I didn't really consider this. Like, there's really no point of knocking him out, because we just get Moon's Eclipse, and that's not fun. Maybe we just try and set up, like, a Goose Mikao. I think we might have to do that. I don't know. Let me, yeah, I think we do kind of have to try something with Guzma. We'll get the Guzma, because we have better odds of hitting Rainbow Energy than our Guzmas. That would work. I would play multiple multi-switches and a few Astrolos. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's an okay idea, but I don't know. All right. We got a uh, rip. Double Choice Band, though. Okay, we might be able to pull off, like, an Instruct combo next turn, so we might be able to attack those Domings early on with Garboder. That's going to be the play for next turn, is try and attack that Garboder. Or the Dawnwings, sorry, not the Garboder. The Dawnwings. But Malamar is good, too. Yeah, I think, like, Malamar and Vikavolt are, like, the perfect Lugia partners. Lugia could replace Shiny Lugia in uh, Vikavolt decks. But uh, Lugia is a little risky, though, with all Lightning that's going to be going around, possibly. So I don't know. I do think, though, that Lugia does have potential. I will, I'll say this, I think Lugia will see play at some point with something like Malamar. And, ooh, wow, yes, he is playing a lot of items here. One, two, three. All right, that's 100 damage. That's 140. That's 180, so Garboder one-shots him. So if he doesn't Guzma me this turn, unfortunately, that's probably going to be the case, though. It's probably going to be the case. He probably hit a gap, I knew it. I shouldn't have evolved. 
We can still maybe hit the Garboder. I knew he was going to hit a Guzma, though. That's really annoying. How many items have we played? Ah, he could just Mimikyu Trash Lanch me. That is... Yeah, this matchup is just garbage. This is, I'm just I'm just going to concede, honestly. I don't really see how we're even going to win this game. There's, like, nothing we can do. I Yeah, I don't see how we're winning that, honestly. That matchup is pretty bad. There's That, that position we were in was so bad, too. Like, even if we found the Garboder and the Energy, we weren't really going to be able to do much with it because um, he just Mimikyu's me. Trash Lanch, Mimikyu, knocks me out. So we're just going to move on, I think, from that game. So it looks like we're against a Metagross deck. Okay. Can't wait for the new shiny legendary Pokemon GX cards. Those things look sick. Those things look sick. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how many we're going to be getting, though. I saw someone on Twitter, my good friend, uh, AD, ADVYGM. He didn't note that uh, Charizard, there's a big difference between Charizard and, like, Rayquaza, I think. Something like that. So there's going to be a lot of shinies, apparently. I don't know. Ooh, this is a really good hand. I don't know. I hope we, um, I mean, I doubt they're going to give us, like, every single GX in the shiny form, but we're probably going to get, like, the most playable ones with shinies, other than Charizard, because Charizard's never really seen play. Ooh, looks like we're against Metagross. Metagross could be tough. It's just really down to, can we hit the perfect numbers? Lucario not having strong energy is a big detriment. The, Gar the Trubbish start isn't very good. Okay, no, he's playing Dustmane. That is fine. Yeah, Charizard, yeah, that Charizard, in real life, that is going to go for a lot of money, probably. Especially if we're actually going to be getting that many Shinies, considering, you know, it, the card did say at the bottom there is going to be way more, apparently. Because there's a big difference between the two. Okay, so he just grabs a Magnemite, okay. And he says a Broken Heart Face, which is a good sign. So let's see what we did prize. We got Buzzwool, we got both our Boaters, all Lucarios, we got Bayonet. Okay, everything seems intact. This matchup could be tough, though, because we can't really make use of Lucario too much outside of hitting hard for one energy just because of Dustmane. Okay, we prized Diancy. Good to know. Uh, I don't really know what to get here. I think I'll just get a, another Riolu. He's only played one item, so Trash Lanch does zero damage. I thought I heard we're getting them all. Ooh, Crawford. I don't know. That would be really interesting, though, if we did. That's a lot of GXs, though, to give us. I don't know. Seems unlikely, but eh, who knows. I think, actually, next turn, we can actually just take a knockout on that Magnemite. That's, so that'd be nice. What's up with the Zoark Sogaleo GX deck? It's the new one. I'd like to see it work. By the way, my icon is the new shiny. Yeah, I noticed that, trainer. Uh, Pokemon trainer, Devin. But uh, I don't know. The Sogaleo Zorg deck was okay. I tested it. My build of the deck, I didn't really like that much. I don't know. It was okay. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to take a knockout here on this Magnemite. It seems like I need to, but at the same time, we're getting hit really hard by Dustmane. Oh, he concedes. Never mind. I was going to say, because even if we did take the knockout, he just suns Eclipse. That's like two games in a row where we had to worry about a GX attack after you know winning the prize trade. That's actually kind of bad. But uh, we'll move on and find another game. Okay. Ooh, this might actually be a Greninja deck. The type's kind of, no, well, it's, it might be Lapras, I don't know. Lapras Quagsire doesn't really play like Coco or anything, though. I do have a uh, Quagsire Curum deck, which seems good. You think Mimikyu has any potential? Yeah, we, we, nice name, by the way. Um, uh, what do we start with? Slugmar Dionysus, it doesn't really matter. I think, s judging from his hand, I think we actually have to start with Dionysus. Oh, yeah, actually, if he's playing a water deck, why would we start with Slugma? I think Mimikyu is fine. I think it's a good attacker. That uh, It definitely works well in spread. And spread is pretty popular. So I can see it work with counter gain. I think it's okay. He might be... Oh, this might actually be a Swampert Empoleon deck. No, he's playing Glaceon. Okay. That's fine. I think Mimikyu is... I think it's good. I think it'll see play in spread decks for sure. It's just... It's a good attacker. It's, you know, it's obviously like a Wobbuffet-esque reprint. So, yeah, I think it works. I think it works. I honestly don't really know if there's any, like, I mean, Tyranitar arguably is pretty terrible, but there's not, like, any, like, standout bad GXs in the in that set, to be honest with you. Like, I, I kind of want to test out Tyranitar with Larvitar and Shining Celebi, because the Larvitar in that in the new set is actually really powerful. So if you play with, like, Coco and Shrine, you can make, like, really good combos work. And you knock him out with Tyranitar, I guess you don't get the fighting knockout, but you knock him out with Tyranitar, you shove him in the Lost Zone. 
Start Dionysus, yeah. Well, Josh, if he's playing, he's playing Glaceon. I can't really afford to start with Slugma. Also, this hand is pretty bad, so I kind of need... I think I'm going to need my cargo. If I ever draw it, I can at least guarantee that I have that draw. Dionysus doesn't seem that good either in this matchup, so I don't know. So when I pre release pulled a Rainbow Mimikyu, and I haven't seen one... Oh, wow, no Alolan Ninetales yet. I mean, there's a lot of GXs. Ooh, he's going to Marshadow me. That kind of changes everything. Well, I'd still probably start with Dionysus. Oh, nice. We got that turn one Lily Hype. Okay, he's going to retreat. That's fine. Ooh, Ultra Ball. That's a really good draw. This actually makes me not want to even do Great Ball. I actually think it's better to play the Ultra Ball. How many items has he played? No, whatever. Well, I'll, I'll still grab the Riolu. I think Lucario is good in this matchup because we can Ace Roller him because he's not going to ever one-shot me. Unless we don't hit the Ace Roller and he knocked me out the Spear. But then we can tear his beat down him. So there's a lot of options. Contaritus also could knock him out. Who's excited for the new Eevee cards? Yo, know, those Eevees... Wow, Eevee's really good. Eevee's gonna be really good. Okay, bit of an awkward hand, not gonna lie. I think I hold it, because I do guarantee them a cargo next turn, and then I can, like, maybe Guzma... Um, I could potentially KO Lele next turn, depending on what I draw. I think I just hold the hand. Because we might have a knock it on Lele. But yeah, though, the new Eevee GXs are pretty good. And also, Jolteon is pretty decent. I like Jolteon. I see potential Vaporeon and Flareon, too. I was at a player release and someone pulled a full art Ninetales. That, Ninetales is obviously the best card you can pull. Oh, and I'm actually surprised he didn't Riolu because we do have Contagious Beatdown, which Choice Ban and Dionysi would let us knock him out with a 30 damage on us. So I'm surprised he did that. Um, Okay. How many items has he played? Not that many. Okay, so... Polar Spear will not knock me out. Yeah, Polar Spear will... No, Cantaris Beatdown won't knock him out. What am I saying? I thought I thought Cantaris Beatdown was like Polar Spear. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so how do I play this? I think we gotta use... We'll have to get rid of both the Lucario and the Garbodor, I think. We'll have to grab Macargo. Thankfully, it doesn't get shut down. We don't have Bayonet's ability, I guess. We're going to have to do Acrobike here with Macargo. Or maybe not. Okay, so we're definitely going to... Uh, we do have the knock on Lele. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll grab Choice Band. Might as well take the KO on that Lele. I don't really see anything wrong with that. Flare and GX with Fiery Flint is going to be fun. Yeah, for sure. I can definitely see how that would be good. Uh, another Garboder discard. That's not very good. We're going to need to get, hopefully, our boy, um, why can't I remember the name? Hopefully we get Beautiful Rescue Stretcher. We're going to really need that because we actually also got rid of that Lucario. But we're in a pretty good spot. We can probably knock him out next turn with the Kikui, so that's good. We'll see what our prize are. Another energy. We got, okay, Nest Ball energy. That's pretty powerful. We can even get a Ranguru. I think we'll probably just get Trubbish. Hey, man, how's it going? Yo, Brian, welcome stream. And I'll thank you, by the way. Also, for lending me that Sogaleo, by the way. Thanks. I really appreciate it. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Four EV from Sun and Moon. Four GX, one Ditto Prism, Rainbow Energy, and Units. You can play every EV. Yeah, that is true. Ditto Prism is really good. Did you end up getting any of those Sogaleo GX? Uh, no, I still only have the one right now. Ooh, he's going to take out my cargo. That's fine. We'll see if he also... Well, he'll, oh, he's going to take two prizes, so I guess I can Sledgehammer him. Um... But yeah, I actually, unfortunately, don't have the other Sogaleo. I kind of want to get another one... Because I think it'll be fine with a little nine tails. I'm not really in any rush to get one right now, Brian. But it's all good. But yeah, once again, thank you for lending me that. So he takes the two prizes. That's fine. We'll uh, just sledgehammer him here. We do kind of lose a bit of our support there. Diancy and Macargo are pretty big losses. Ooh, Lucario draw. We get sledgehammer though, which is nice. I think. Do we have our stretcher? Yeah, we do. Okay. How many spores have I discarded? Two. Never mind. I can't really go for Bayonet. I think I will get Trubbish, though. Trubbish is still fine. We'll play the Kaku before the Rainbow, just in case. Yep, there we go. So I don't have to waste the Rainbow Energy. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of do want the extra damage on Lucario anyways. It's probably better that way. We should be in a pretty powerful spot here. He might be able to take another prize, though. I will send you one in a minute. You can keep... Oh, really? Oh, thanks, Brian. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. I, you saw my friends list too, I think, right? Camera drummer. But yeah, thanks. I really do appreciate it. I really do. 
Okay, does he have a Guzma here? He's played one. We did force get rid of his Lele. The new Onyx, though. The new Onyx is also really good with uh, Malamar. There's a lot of good fighting types now coming out of this new set. We got Onyx. The new Larvitar can be good. I think You think that Miltank will be any fun, or is Judge and Marsha out too prevalent? Yeah, Miltank's okay. You, you are talking about, like, the Miltank with, like, Moo Moo Milk, right? Like, the Moo Moo Milk combo, or the Whitney Miltank. The one, I, I know they could see attack that does extra damage for the things in your discard pile. I think that's what it does. Not a problem. Yes, Tamar Drummer. All right, yeah. Thanks again, Ryan. Yep, he had the Guzma. I'm actually surprised he's taking out a Trubbish, though. Okay, we might have to waste Canteridus on him. As long as he doesn't... Never mind, I was going to say, as long as he doesn't evolve EV, we might be safe to not have to do it, but it looks like he does find it. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Uh, he has played a lot of items, though, so Stretcher is really relevant. Maybe I should have grabbed a Ranguru there. Oh, he's flying flipping me. I see. That's fine. Kind of figured we wouldn't really draw out of that. Oh, that's tough. Do I just stomp off here? There's no point. <laughs> it's actually a dumb idea. Uh, this is a pretty bad hand. Hmm. I think he's gonna he's trying to set up a Another double prize kill with Glaceon, I think, on like one of my Riolus or both Trubbishes. This is kind of bad. I think I just have to hope I draw out of this. No, I think I think we try and go for the retreat play. I think we kind of have to. Okay, we got rid of a water. That's fine, I guess. Might cripple him. I doubt it though. Um, the mill tank does 6 damage times the amount of Moo Moo Milk in your discard pile for triple colors. Yeah, yeah, Weeby Boy. Yeah, that could be fun with, like, Malamar. Um, yeah, it's an okay combo. It's just, can you get the Moo Moo Milks in, in your discard? I mean, you do have a, a Gladian, right? Uh, what's good is you aren't relying on GX abilities and damage. Uh, damage wrecks havoc on him with Lucario. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, we're kind of in top deck mode. We do play a lot of supporters, though, because we kind of have the Bayonet in here. Oh, he's going to be able to take... A lot of prizes. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I think we'll knock him out Buzz will... Oh, we got rid of the energy. I didn't even realize. What? How'd you get rid of that? Enhanced hand... What do you mean, brother? Oh, I did not... I was not paying attention. I was reading chat. Rip, that is... Wow. Okay, well, I think I just passed. and just hope I draw Guzma so we can knock him out Glaceons. Wow, I did not... I should have attached the fight energy, but... Didn't want to. Wow. I, was, I, do, I wasn't even paying attention. That really sucks. Okay, well, the game is far from over, but it's kind of is. Yeah, this is pretty bad. That Guzma, just not drawing anything, is just killing me. I should have grabbed a Ranguru when I had the opportunity, because I didn't know I'd draw the other, other Trubbish. That was kind of stupid. But I was really hoping I would find Stretcher, because we really need Trash Lanch here. Like, we could win this game still, but it's, like, so unlikely. We don't have Sledgehammer... I think we have to bring out Buzzwool just because, like, there's not much I can do. Okay. I unfortunately do have to evolve here just so I don't get Flying Flip, but we haven't played any Ace Roller. Okay, we got a Rainbow Energy. Still no Stretcher. We have Shuppet, but I don't think Shuppet's saving us. Hmm. I think I just have to sledgehammer him. I don't really want to put any, like, other Pokemon on the bench that can get knocked out by, like, Polar Frost Bullet. Because then he takes two prizes. I kind of want to prevent that. I guess it's kind of my uh, consensus idea. I don't know. This is pretty bad. He probably has Guzma. Yep. Rip. Maybe I should have attached Rainbow there, but I don't know. I'm, I'm st actually kind of low on energies. I've actually played quite a few, so... Yeah, I was hoping that was going to happen. I think that is a game, though. Yeah, we lose. That's pretty annoying. I hate losing to dead draws, and I also hate losing to... Um, just... Yeah, dead draws. That It's the funnest thing. But this deck is okay. I don't know. I thought it'd be a lot better, though. To be honest, I thought this deck played a bit better for us. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, though, you know, we got a good start that game. You know, Terminal Lily's always good, but I don't know. I really did think we would have a better start with the deck, but 
we're going to go test out some Noivern Altaria. Noivern is in the thumbnail. I have a mill tank right here. Uh, you only have to reveal the Moomoo milk from your hand, not discard. I think the new Typhlosion is insane. Nice. Yeah, I, I forget what the Typhlosion does, Pokemon Trainer, Devin. Um, but yeah, we're going to go try out some, I guess, Noivern and Expanded. We're going to go flip-flop from both formats. I got some standard decks to test out. I got some Expanded I want to play. And oh, are we actually up against Gardevoir? Oh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to. That match, that's an auto loss. We're not going to win. Like, we're not going to win. I'm not even going to bother with Gardevoir. There's no way we're going to win that game. There's no way. Any thoughts on Primarina GX? I don't think it's that great, Crawford, unfortunately. It's, it's, I don't know. There, there's ways to accelerate energy with Aqua Patch and, like, Quagsire and, you know, maybe with, like, weird stuff like Alolan Marowak, but I don't know. I don't think Primarina is that great. It's also a stage two, so you have to find room for rare candy. Hey, Fury Man, how you been? I've been good, Richard. I've been good, bro. And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by on the stream today, dude. You're doing good. How about you? Um, Typhlosion Lost Zone, two of your opponent's energy and one attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Fire does have some support with Kiawe, so we, I could see that work. Okay, so our hand's fine. As long as we didn't prize Bridget, we're going to have a pretty good turn one here. We'll see how the Altaria deck does. Uh, but this, my build's a bit different from, from the, the builds you might see. Um, originally, I tried out Laser Furbank in this deck, didn't like it. Um, I instead just bumped up, the, oh, the red card. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I feel okay, though, drawing out of this. There you go. That actually gave us a pretty good hand. We can just either dump it or do whatever. We could probably beat Lucario, or Lucario. We can probably beat Zoark with this deck. We have Parallels. We have even stuff like Altaria GX can be bad, too, if he doesn't have a way to counter that. So I feel comfortable against Zoark. We can probably beat Zoark. Hopefully. This is kind of one of those anti-Zoark decks, you know, anti-Night March, anti-Zoark, all those special energy heavy decks. This is kind of what this Noivern Altaria deck is designed to do. Alright, well I'm just going to quick... Okay, so I'll include that Lucario um, stream game probably in if I ever do a video on that deck, which I probably will work on. But uh, we're just going to quickly... I'm just going to quickly store it in my external hard drive. I was having issues... Um, my Zygar Garboder deck I uploaded... I was having a lot of like rendering issues. Oh, he's playing the Garboder build. Rip. I had a lot of, like, rendering issues with the deck because, unfortunately, I'm running out of room on my MacBook, so I, like, really was like, oh, shoot, how am I gonna, how am I gonna render this? But it turned out to be okay because, thankfully, I have a one terabyte hard drive that I can just hook up and just save everything there, so that was really clutch. Because, it's honestly, I don't know, if I was running out of room, I wouldn't be able to make longer videos. Item lock on Zoro is miserable. I hope you beat him. Yeah, hopefully, Brian. Oh, my God. I need to catch up on the chat. Uh, Meba, you can Archie Primarine and Expanded. Yeah, I've seen talk of, like, Archies with, um... Well, just drop Sita Widow. Who cares about all the ways I've got Swabu? I've seen some talk for, like, Archies with, um, Kingdra. I don't know how good that is. The problem with that is if you're playing Archies, Kingdra, and Archies, Blastoise, there's, like, double Archies, and that's, like, not really something you want to do. Um... Just doing some trades until Lost Thunder. Michael coin grinding if I am short on them. ETB will come either Monday or Tuesday after Lost Thunder. Yeah. Basically, same. I'm just kind of just grinding turnies. I really do want to get this Fleur Guzma so I can just trade one of my spare Guzmas off, which is nice. So, yeah, and I really do want those 600 coins, though. I want to at least maybe get maybe to 50 packs. I can probably get there. I can probably get to 50 packs um, saved up in my coins. Uh, can, you make, can you make a baby Zork deck with Shrine? Yeah, I might play that, actually, Kurusu. That's, like, my go-to, like, kind of ladder-grinding deck right now. I'm actually glad he knocked me out, to be honest. But that's, that's like, that's literally my go-to ladder-grinding deck. So I, I'm, I'm probably going to try that out, if I'm be honest with you. I will probably test that out. Uh, we got to hope we don't whiff Double Dragon. Even if we do, we can hopefully disrupt him enough. Hopefully. Would be nice to make use of Lance this turn, not going to lie. We'll just Chorus. I don't really want to lose any of those cards. Well, I guess we could have lost Lance. I should have went for Chorus, because I didn't get anything good off that. Awesome. That's annoying. Um, We actually did just get rid of a Noibat there. I think I have to retreat. He might knock me out if he finds, like, Trash or Gar Garbotoxin. That sucks. We don't have that much energy. We do have Comp Search. Energy Lotto is something I was considering in this deck, too. Would have been nice to do Lance that turn, though. 
But yeah, I'm probably gonna play my uh, baby. I'm probably gonna play my uh, Zorch uh, Buzz Shine deck eventually on this in the stream. But it is one of my favorite decks. Also, you can play Typhlosion and and any energy decks. So you can turn all energy to fire for a turn. Oh yeah. So yeah, that could work in like Malamar or like something like that. Okay, just a Cynthia. That shouldn't hopefully give a much. All right, so he's going to trade, get rid of a Mew. Trash, how many items have we played? Just two. Okay, Trash Lanch isn't a big deal right now. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, if, <laughs> if that's the thing. If I'm whiffing, you know, it's bad. Okay, it's not the end of the world yet. Wish we had an end to play, but we don't. Okay, so we draw. Dark Energy would have been nice last turn. Guess what? The Cynthia. And hope to hit Double Dragon Energy. And some Swablus. And another Noibat. Or Enhanced Hammer. Okay. Kind of works. Parallel's good, but it's actually pretty useless right now. We're going to have to play another item, but that's fine. Uh, might as well just grab Latios. Just stand out the deck a little bit. And we can distort him. Unfortunately, he isn't playing a special energy on the active, which is bad. His choice band's also letting him hit pretty hard. I don't even think I play field board in this deck. I don't even know. Uh, PDC, Joe RNG, gotta love it. Yeah, I'm telling you, sometimes it is not in your favor. And it's never in my favor. Okay, so we are in a bit of a tough spot. He's hitting me pretty hard. I can't really play parallel right now. I don't really see a point in doing that. I thought Heracross uh, Guts was and is hilariously awesome. It is capital. Um, Heracross is a. I, every time like I like every time I lose my winning streak, I kind of just play around with that deck in standard. It's a fun deck to play. Like Heracross Shrine with like Lorantis. It is fun to play. Soda Widow still hits me hard. Okay, uh, we drew a double Dragon Energy. Oh, we paralleled me. I didn't even see that. Wow. Okay. So we do knock him out with Sonic Volume, and I guess what we're going to have to hope, if we can hit Enhanced Hammer... <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, I was going to say, if we get hit Enhanced Hammer, we can probably knock him out, but no, nope, not going to happen. We could make a comeback if if we hit an Ant Hammer there. Could have bumped that DCE. We could have prevented him from playing any special energies. And I was hoping that would save us, but nope, apparently not. Uh, the first 50 are so weird, very sporadic. Yep, that's kind of what I am facing right now. Whiffing, that was pretty bad. Okay, so he's going to bridge at me, which is... Or bridge at me, sorry. He is going to hit me with a delinquent. I'll just dump all those useless cards. I actually like that, because I get to put more Pokemon down. I get to make a lot of use out of Latios this turn. So I'm actually really glad he did that. That was actually a really big turn for me. So this is fine. We're going to make a maybe, maybe, maybe make a comeback. Okay, do we knock out Zorb with Latios? I feel like we do, but I also feel like we don't. So, uh, we'll do 100 with Lance. 130, plus 40... We're going to hit for 170 on the Zork with Latios Prism Star, so we're not going to knock him out. So I think we'll just Lance for... I could also go for Altaria Bright Tonum here. How many Guzmas has he played? He hasn't played one yet, and it's not in the discard, so that's actually decent. I kind of feel like going for the Bright Tone here. I don't know if Item Lock is too relevant. Then I guess we can ace roll our Noivern next turn, go into Latios. If I, I don't know if I, I kind of want to just bright tone him here, force him to find Guzma or go into Trash Lanch. He's already burned two Psychics, so that's already a good sign. We haven't played an insane amount of items either. He's hitting me for a hundred, but we do have the ace roll of play. Yeah, I'm actually fine with that. I think this might be the better play. Maybe try and attack with bright tone. Hope so. Could be wrong. Field blower would be bad this turn, but we'll see if this comes in comes in clutch. Uh, can you look at your opponent's list at the end of the match? Really curious about the deck. Yeah, I will Moses for sure. Hopefully, if I can remember. 
I feel the new Houndoom has some potential. It does 50 plus 80 more damage if you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, plus choice ban and two promo Lorantis. Boosted to 200. Oh, wow. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Uh, how much energy is for the attack that we Watching Little Dark Fury playing SS before, what could be better? There you go. There you go, Josh. And thanks, by the way, for the compliment. All right, so he's just going to do nothing. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Guzma. Hmm, okay. He needs to take two prizes to win. I can knock him out here. But is that really the best play? I think I actually just Latios knock him out. I think I'm going to try. Let's Yeah, let's knock out this Garboder. Latios doesn't get knocked out either, and we're hitting him pretty hard. We have another Guzma, thanks to VS Seeker. There's another VS Seeker. That's what I was looking for, too. I was hoping we get a supporter to follow up if we did it to play like a niche card like Latios. Oh, two fire energies. Oh, counter energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Counter energy. Those two energy attacks, thanks to counter energy and also, uh, what's it called? Rainbow Brush. I've had some success with that in Heracross. So, yeah, that could work. Oh, he hit the field blower. That's really bad. Well, he's already burned through both trash lanches. I mean, he hasn't played a stretcher yet, but I'm safe. Okay, so he's gonna do that. I will gladly get rid of my Tapu Lele. That's actually really good. That's like a crutch card. I do want to parallel him, actually. I hope he doesn't delinquent me this turn. I don't think he is, because he's already played a delinquent. What deck do you think is best for Portland? Uh, the play does kind of seem to be Zoar Garboder, Card Street. I think Zoar Garb is just straight up the play. Unfortunately, it's an annoying deck, but it seems to be the play. Okay, he's playing a lot of annoying cards. That's awesome. But yeah, unfortunately, Zoar Garb seems to be playing. I don't think Zoark is going anywhere, even with... You know, a couple bands. The deck, the deck is just Zorg is just too overpowered and expanded. It's too overpowered. Even losing, oh god, yeah, the psychic. But he's going to the heavily damaged Zorg. So that's a good sign, I guess. We can maybe find special charge here. Top deck. <sighs> at least, at least we're not getting delinquented. Do I Colors for seven or do I Guzma? I think I actually Guzma knock out Trubbish. I can always Euphoria, but I don't really think it matters. Rude Grunt. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Zorg list don't usually play Grunt. Ooh, we got a Parallel, so we can possibly Parallel him. I am a little scared again to Linkwinded, though, not going to lie. Hey, Fairy, what's up? Yo, Timmy, welcome to stream. How you doing? And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. The new Deli Bird that loads up your bench with tools for one cause could be dope with Gorgeist. Yeah, that could... Yeah, I can definitely see that. Gorgeist is an interesting card. I think it's, like, okay. It's kind of slept on, but not really slept on, in my opinion. It's really cool to see a person with a different uh, play style than mine. What do you mean, Josh? Like, uh... Curious to know what, what, uh, what that means. What? This guy has answers to everything. Oh, my gosh. I hate Zoark so much. Zoark and Expanded, man. Does not matter what you ban, that deck is still retarded. No offense if anyone got offended by that. Sorry, I just... A little salty. A little salty. Now, it makes me almost just want to play Buzz Shrine now. We'll do another game with our uh, Noivern deck here. But yeah, I don't know. I think Zoark is still the best deck in Expanded. There's, It's just got too many things to work with. It's too good. It's too good. All right, so we're going to get the Noiba uh, Swap Booster, but we do have a pretty good hand, actually, especially if he does knock me out. We have that Lance in our hand. So that's good. So we got a decent starting hand, which is nice. Ooh. I do not know what Huntail does, but okay. Don't know what to expect. I think he's playing Electrode. Ooh, yeah, he's playing Electrode. Electrode GX, right? Yeah, he's going to Electrode GX build up energy for Huntail's Powerful Storm. So we got to watch out for that. Um, 
do we want Soda Widow in this matchup? I kind of want to say no. We have Parallel, which seems to be fine, so you know, mind. Yeah, we'll just grab Latios, double Noibat, and Swablu. Actually, not double Noibat, but we have a good hand, so that's good. Uh, you're closer to Far Guzma ladder than I am. I've been trying to get to find good decks to grind ladder with. Really, I just grind like a. Uh, I just grind like Shrine decks because they, they get easy win rates when you play against GX deck. Expanded, I just play my uh, Buzzle Zork deck. A little Dark Salty. Unfortunately, Pokemon Trainer Devin. Zork and Expanded sometimes just grinds my gears because it's just it's ridiculous. You choose different supporters than I would and uh, hold and fold your hand different than I would. It's nice to see that in action. Oh, thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. All right, let's see what my opponent's able to do. I am kind of worried he's going to get a bunch of energy in the discard, though. I am a little worried he's going to get a bunch of energy in the discard this turn. Okay, no, he's got an empty hand, which is perfect. So we are probably going to lose out on the Lance play, but our... Why am I, why am I playing that? But yeah, we're going to lose out on Lance this game, unfortunately, but... I mean, he's probably going to see, to be honest, because Distort actually knocks him out here. We got the good start. We can Sycamore, hopefully find some Altarias. We got Parallel City, which I'm probably going to hold on to. This could be clutch in the later game, maybe, if we ever want to, like, play it. And he must, he has, might have to get rid of a few Pokemon with energy on them, which is pretty relevant. Even cool when you play against someone and uh, can see both sides of a match. That'd be cool. I kind of wish they had, like, a theater mode theater a theater mode feature, sorry, on this game where you could, like, watch your game that you had afterwards. That would be a pretty dope feature. i like to see that. You can see your opponent's side. That would be kind of cool. I think that should be implemented. A theater mode kind of thing, you know, a replay thing where you can watch the game back and you can see both perspectives. I've wanted to see that for a while. That would be really good not only for YouTube, but it would be really cool in general to, like, go back and see how lucky your opponent got. I would like... Oh, yeah, shoot. Forgot about that. All right, so I will accept your trade, Brian. Once again, thank you so much for the Sogaleo dude, I really do appreciate it. Any of the support is greatly appreciated on the channel. Oh shoot, I don't have a reverse solar bronze on though. Ugh, okay. I'll counter the offer. Actually, I don't even have any bronze on, so what am I saying? I need to like, start organizing my trades. I need to start or organizing my, uh, my uh, what I have for trade a little bit better because that's like, yeah, I don't have it. Uh, Brian, if you're still on the stream, what would you want me to add? Because I don't have either of those Bronzons, unfortunately, for trade. Because they're both locked. Um, I use Marshadow to donk, or Mar Marshadow donk to grind the ladder. Yeah, donk decks like Latios. That's another good ladder grinding deck. The new Beautyfly and uh, Dust Docks are neat. Yeah, especially with like the Cascoon, Silcoon, kind of being like, um, what's his face? Uh, Frogadier. That's the word I was looking for. Frogadier. Kind of like Fortnite. I guess Pokemon. I, I play a lot of Fortnite, actually. Pokemon Trainer Devin. Actually, do you guys, do any of you guys play uh, Fortnite? I want to know. I know it's kind of like the meme kid game, but no, nah, I'm not going to lie. That game is fun. I have put a lot of money in that game on skins that I don't regret. I've played against streamers and on YouTube, and I've gotten to see the match from their point. Yeah, I like that. If I ever play against a streamer, like if I notice I find a game and it's against someone that's like streaming or something, I'm going to have to describe the trade, uh, Brian. You'll have to counter it or resend it. Anything is fine. Okay. All right. Never mind. I'll just resend it. I'll give you something decent, though. And I didn't mind you click my deck manager. Um, I, it's always nice, though, to go back in the Twitch stream, though, and re-watch um, what, uh, what, what happened. I do that a lot. If I ever run into, like, a, a streamer or a YouTuber, I, I rarely do, though. I'm not going to lie. I have rarely played against a YouTuber on, on the first side. Like, I've rarely just found a match, and it's against, like... I do want to give you a good card, though. I don't want to, like... You be hanging. But I, 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 the only, like, YouTubers I've really played against are, like, Outcast and that's really about it. Just Outcast. I've played against Yellow Swallow once, but that was, like, in a tournament years ago. That was, like, it was, like, a tournament that you set up by, like, joining it. Um, it was, like, through Twitch. I really want to give you something good here since you're giving me the Soak Layout. I don't want to just, like, give you something bad. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. What could I give you? Sorry, um, but I will get back to games in just a second. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you Caldeo because that card could become good one day, thanks to Blissifion. Uh, why don't you stream Fortnite? Well, I mean, I don't think that many people want to watch it compared to PCGO, so it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, do I really want to stream it? Not really. Yeah, I play Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. It's a fun game. 
Though I'm on console, so it's a little annoying. I'm not that great at building. We'll do another game with Noivern Altaria. But yeah, I'm not that great at building on console. Even though I do play Builder Pro. But it's a fun game to play with your friends, though. Alright, so we're up against... Ooh, okay, I don't know. A lot of types. Could be, uh... Seismitoad. Tapu Lele Kappa. Yeah, I'll give him, no, I'll give him my Lele. I'll give him a Secret Ultra Ball. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what do you think of Snorlax and Eevee Tag Team GX? I don't even have the, have the scan of that card come out, Richard. I don't, I don't know if it has. I don't think it has. It looks interesting, though. Oh, no, we're playing against Keldeo Blastoise, right? Yeah, Archie's Blastoise, Keldeo Blastoise, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is, I guess, a fine time to just open with Soda Widow. It's kind of like the least valued card, I think, in this matchup. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get an insane Noivern start, though, to prevent him from pulling off an Archie's. Yeah, me too. I played Swellow. I'm good on I'm good on Fortnite. Nice. But yeah, I, I rarely play against any YouTubers or streamers. I Not even just that I like don't desire to. Just, I just rarely find games against them in the Versus ladder. Again, I've only the only time I've ever played against a random streamer or something, I think, was just intentionally like I was supposed to play against them. Like Outcast, I, I, did, I did like a series with him a couple years back where we played a mirror deck. So it was like, it was a mirror match. That was intended, right? You know, set up the game. Set up the game against Yellow Swallows in like an online tournament. So those are the only time I play against YouTubers or streamers. Never played against one ever. It looks like this guy has turn one Archie. So it doesn't matter if I get annoyed for him to play. Fortnite kind of sucks on console with building. Aim assist helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Aim assist does help. I uh, played two Swallow one time with Zygarde. Uh, or he uses Gumi. <laughs> he just has so hard the next day he made a video for that deck. Yeah, that Gumi's funny. I think Gumi's like decent now with Altaria. It's like a fun deck. It's not like a competitive deck, but it's fun to play with like Altaria. I kind of did want to make a video on him, but I kind of just forgot about the deck. But I do have the Gumi Altaria deck built. Though it does kind of suck that you have to rely on Rainbow Energy as opposed to, uh, you know, having special charge in the format. So it's kind of a little, it's a little bad, but I do have the Gumi Altaria deck built. I just keep, keep forgetting about it. Though it is, it seems like a funny little troll deck. And, wow, this guy's popping off. He's playing the Kingdra, though. That Kingdra tech seems to be popping up everywhere. Gumi is hilarious. Yeah, Gumi is a funny... Is a funny, funny card. I think it's fun with Altaria now. It does have support thanks to Altaria. So it actually does hit decent numbers with Hustle Belt. And with Altaria. So it's like a fun little troll deck. And you can play Altaria GX, which kind of adds to the troll. Gumi is very fun. Depends on the matchup. You can win games for sure. Yeah, I think you kind of have to more rely on some like Zoark that plays like eight energies, and they rely more on DCEs. But Gumi can win games. Like if your opponent literally doesn't like have the right deck that can like counteract Gumi's ability, like it can be very trolly. Um, my opponent did have a very insane turn one though. I'll give him that. We'll probably just get rid of Cynthia and Enhanced Tamer. Hopefully the Bridget is not prized. Okay, good. So I'm relying on Bridget this turn. We should be able to pop off next turn. Hopefully. This matchup is a little tough to beat, though. Especially because he already got Art Blastoise in play. Distort's not hitting good numbers, either. And I can't really use Altaria GX because of... Um... We already have another Swablu, yeah. Do we have Latios? Oh, we prized it. I was going to say Latios would be really good in this matchup. But we don't have it. But he has so many non-GX attackers, so I can't really use Altaria GX to stall him. Anyone want my Fortnite gamer tag? Do you play on PlayStation or Xbox, Pokemon Trainer Dev? And I play on PlayStation. It's not completely because the image was uh, in a bus. From what I see, it has 270 HP, has attack one color, and can attach an energy to one of your Pokemon. Ooh, interesting. An attack called Damp Pressing that does 120 plus. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. What I don't know. I think I think that deck, that card will be kind of, like, I guess balanced out by the fact that it's most likely going to be weak to fighting. I'm assuming, though, that second attack's got something to do with sleep, because it is a Snorlax. Gumi equals opponent's rage concede. Gumi and Expanded would be kind of fun, I think, actually. Especially with, like, access to Flare Grunts. <laughs> well, language devil. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Buzz plus Choice GG. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with, like, the Zekrom Pikachu. It's an interesting card with Magnezone, but it gets slapped real hard by uh, those fighting decks. And fighting is just one of the best types in the game right now, if not the best type, apart from Psychic. The Damp Press Attack costs 3. Colorless, as its GX is 210. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be something to do with sleep, though, because it is Snorlax. Switch, not worth to get. Oh, Rip, you got to switch. Well, Switch is pretty cool, but I don't know if it's the best for Fortnite. But yeah, Rip 
hopefully one day you can get a PlayStation, Devin. Or, I mean, you can get Fortnite on your PC if you play on, like, computer or something. I've seen, I've even seen people play Fortnite in my college, in, in our college computer lab. It's, like, that insane. Kind of glad he doesn't have an Articuno in play. It makes me regret having Sudderwood on the active because it's an easy prize for his Articuno. So that's a good thing, I guess. So, yeah, next time, don't start with Articuno, guys. Or Sudo Widow, sorry. Well, I guess Swablu or Sudo Widow will both get smoked by Articuno, so it doesn't really matter. Jeez, my point is just going off, though. I mean, Noivern Altaria, Noivern Garboder, both decent Noivern decks. Noivern Zork, I've seen some talk for. So, I don't know. There's three different Noivern variants you could try. All of which seem okay. We are in trouble, though. I actually don't really see how we're going to win this game at this point. We'll try to do something, though. Okay, that was a fine enough top deck, though we can't play that, because we have to do Chorus. Trade is complete. Sorry about the confusion. All right, all good, Brian. It's all good, dude. And wow, rip, we actually whiffed. Okay. That that whiff is pretty bad. It's all good, though, Brian. But again, once again, thank you, dude, for the Sogaleo. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel out a lot. I think we just sacrifice Wobblu and hope that we don't get Guzma this turn. But we can at least hit him pretty hard with Neuburn's second attack, which I guess is, like, relevant. I don't think we one-shot him, though. Once a full clear image of the card appears to let you know. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll see the scans on Twitter or like PC Joe Radio will upload a video. Trade is complete. Yeah, the photos at Poke Beach. Yeah. What's the tech card against the impending Blasephion decks? Keldeo? Most likely Keldeo. Yeah, I'd say Keldeo. And Rip. I was going to say Rip if he had the Guzma. That's bad. And he has it. I don't think he actually KOs me here unless he has another energy or a choice band. I think he's short on the knockout. That's good. Hopefully he doesn't hit the energy. He just instructed for one. Okay, good. We survived. Noivern is a tank. I guess he finishes me off with Maelstrom, which is a little annoying. And there we go. That's what we we're looking for. He's going to Cynthia. Okay. Parallel City's pretty big. I know he's going to get rid of Execute and, and I guess Lele, but that is still pretty big. Because now he can't bench any other Pokemon. Garbodor Tech. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, Safeyon's just one of those decks. Like, it's it's kind of going to be hard to counter against it. I think we just have to Sonic Volume him and hit him really hard. Hope he doesn't, like, rough seize or something. And then we can finish him up next turn with Distort and go from there. Hopefully slow him down for playing Spirit Energy Retrieval. I think Safeyon is definitely... The only counter I can think of is just Keldeo. Because it's, like, the only, like, good counter energy S Pokemon I can think of. There's not many good water techs, though. Like, water is, like, decent type. There's a lot of different variety of water attackers, but there's not really a good one that can specifically tech against a good fire type. That's, like, the awkward thing. Even in Expanded, I can't really think of any water techs. Cake Pop has no counter. I guess really the only thing that does counter it is potentially just, like, a Shrine Beatdown Pokemon. That's really the only thing I can think of that can counter against it. But you have Naganadel, so if they, like, do Sledgehammer play you or something, you still, like, get smoked by, by that. So, there's not really, like, a direct counter. Ooh, okay. Can we draw an end here? That works. Why? I gotta stop doing that. I keep playing Rescue Stretcher. <laughs> I keep playing the Double Dragon Energy before I put Noibat down. Okay, we really gotta get Latios off the prizes here to start making maybe a bit of a comeback. Okay, so, this kind of works out. We knock him out. We can also Comp Search. Grab probably N. Just slow him down a little bit. Hopefully N comes in handy. He's already built up the Oranguru, though, so I don't know how that'll work, but we'll see. And we gotta hope to hit Ace Rolla. It's on the discard, but we still have a Lele left. Yo, what's good, fam? Yo, A-D-V-G-Y-M. Welcome to the stream, brother. And there we go. We got the Ace Rolla for next turn. Oh, but we don't have the Noibad. I guess... Mm, shoot. Oh, now I regret putting that Swablu down. Hmm... What to do, what to do. I mean, to be fair, we could just r hopefully run him low with Distort so we can't get the energies back with Superior. I guess I can go in with Altaria GX next turn. I don't think it's prized. Hopefully. All right, Latios is what we're really looking for here. We didn't hit it, Rip. You can pick off the Gandalf slow output. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think Blasephion, though, is just like... It's going to be hard to counter against, because again, there's no good water tech. Like, Keldeo might be the best answer. Okay, so, hit me for 100. We do knock him out here, but then we give him his items back, which we don't want to do. But we can't really do an Ace Roll-Up combo. 
Okay. We'll treasure away, I guess, Ultra Ball can go. Okay, so we did the Altaria GX. We have Ace Rolla, which is good. So I guess we have to do the Altaria play. Yeah, I think we have to. We have to heal this turn. I mean, I could flare on him, too. He's played seven waters, though. I don't think flare gun's a good idea, because if he just finds an energy, we get knocked out, and then our play gets crumbled. I don't mind that flare gun play, though. I, I am tempted to do it. Because he can't get energy back. But he's only played seven, and he has 11 energies in the deck. So he's going to still have four energies. Actually, I guess we'll do the flare gun play. I, I'm probably going to regret this, but this might be a good idea if he doesn't have the energy. I really hope this doesn't come back to bite me. We can fall back on Altaria, though, which is fine. All right, let's really hope this works. Dragon Majesty Lapras to 70 for three colorless. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, Lapras with, like, a choice ban and, like, Malamar Shrine can tech that in for sure. Because Shrine can pick away at it, so you don't need the choice ban. Yes, it worked! Whew, yo. I'm hyped right now. Okay, there we go. We're back in business. We'll let him again, too. Just keep slowing him down a little bit. Okay, Novia Seeker. That sucks. We haven't even played one yet. Okay, we got Ace Roller, though, which is good. So we can Ace Roller next turn, hopefully. But I'm pretty sure we're safe. Unless he got, like, a Sycamore off of this. But most Archie lists put, like, one copies of each. No Ladio still. We will see when Clown Deck comes and what they'll put aside from the obvious Nagandel partner. Yeah, let's see if you're on the Gando, though. It seems fun. Oh, we hit the Lele. Okay, that's fine. I still think we're safe this turn. Even if, like, wow, we have a Fighting Fury Belt on. Okay, Juniper has to give him three waters. He's played seven. He can't do Superior Energy Retrieval. Ooh, he had to lose, though. Maybe I shouldn't have ended him then. I shouldn't have ended him, but still giving him three cards and a deck full of items is still, like, really good. Okay, don't get two water energies, please whiff. You've played seven, eight, yeah, you got three left. There's, please whiff both waters. He might jet geyser me, that could be a possibility, so we gotta consider that. We don't have a way to get out of the active right now. So if he doesn't hit the both waters, he could jet geyser to slow me down. But yeah, Lapras could work, I guess, as a tech counter. Okay, put on Nakuno, that could be a threat, and he didn't hit it, good, okay. Seems like a good turn to Ace Rolla, but we kind of have to keep the item lock pressure up, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. I think we just distort him. We're not too shy in him, unfortunately, but we still keep the pressure on, which is fine. Like, I'm, I should be safe. He can't do Via Seeker, and again, most of these lists, yeah, they just play like one copy of Juniper. So we hit a treasure. I think I am going to play that and get rid of Ultra Ball. Just try and... Thin out as much as I can, because I do want to find a Via Seeker soon. Really wish I could, like, Ace Rolla, but I can't. That's fine. It's going to be a really close game, though. Okay, still going to pass. There's a Sycamore draw. Hmm, you know what, though? Though we do not know distort, he might actually just start to chill and size stall me, which could come in handy if we don't wake up, because then we can't distort him. Latios! Via Seeker, I guess that's fine. We might be able to win on that Lele, though, with Altaria or Noivern. Because we'll Lele for Guzma, bring out Lele, and then maybe hit it with our second attack. That could possibly win us the game. Dragon Majesty Yakin. All right, let's see. This is going to be a really close match, though. All right, he still doesn't have anything. Um, yeah, I guess we just keep distorting him. If he draws an energy and we don't wake up, I mean, we can do Ace Rolla, but we don't have Guzma. But it's kind of too late to Sycamore. Okay, I think we just win the game. Yeah, we win. My opponent says sad face. I did not expect Distort to last that long, man. Uh, but well played to you, my good sir. Well played. Still no Latios. Love how it's last pride. But whatever. It's all good. I can even Karen him, which would disrupt him even harder. Because he just gets a backpack, a bunch of stuff he doesn't want. 
Yeah, you can see. All right, well, GG. That's that was a very close game, really close. Just the that distort lock is what we needed to win. He might have prized a couple energies too, which is pretty big. So that was a really good match. All right, but yeah, thanks once again, Brian. That was a really good game. Holy cow, that was perfect. I don't know which file is the actual one. Okay, well, we can probably move on from Neuburn. I kind of do want to try out um, and show you guys like the ladder grinding deck I use, if I can find it. I might actually play uh, the Glissapod and Macargo standard deck too. I've been That deck seems fun to play. Don't know if I'll make a video on it because it's kind of already been done already, but I do want to try that out. All right, let's see if I can find the Buzzwool Shrine deck. Yeah, we'll play this. This is my go-to ladder grinding deck. It's a good deck to get easy wins with. It can beat Zork fairly easily. And yeah, looks like we're against Night March, so that's good. Flurgun on the clutch. I, I did not expect that Flurgun to work, Richard, honestly. But without Superior, he doesn't have a way to get energy back. So, I don't know. That Flaregun play was like 100 IQ, apparently. That was lit. That was lit. Okay, so we got a really bad hand, which is not good. We're up against Night March, which is a matchup I think we can pretty easily win against, but not with hands like this. Okay, that makes things a bit better. So, yeah, we'll just uh, grab Buzzwool. We'll play the Beast Energy on it. But I kind of like the Zorg build much as I like Garboder. The Zorg build, I think, works a bit better sometimes because, like, Mindjack and the other Zork are really powerful. I'm actually going to play Trackian down just in case we get knocked out here. We can maybe Counter Energy, knock him out. Troll decks, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think Shrine decks translate pretty well in Expanded. There's really not really, like, any, like, good, like, counter to Shrine in Expanded. There's more stadiums in Expanded, like D-Valley, Skyfield, Rough Seas, stuff like that, and Parallel City. But Shrine and Punishments in Expanded is still good, because there is a lot of GX-heavy decks. My Jack and Pal Foul Play Zoro. Yeah, basically, Richard. And Baby Buzzwool. It's basically, like, it's Buzz Garb, but with uh, Zork instead of Garb Odor. But the Zorg, the Zorg is, you know, there's more drawbacks to Zorg. You know, they control their bench size. You don't have Trash Lanch. You're a dark type, so you don't hit, you know, Buzzwool's for weakness. Yeah, Shrine is a great stadium. I've seen talk of, like, Buzzwool with, like, Laser Vermank over the Shrine of Punishments. So I don't know if that would be a good idea. I might try that out in the future. Who knows? Okay, so he's going to still get an insane Battle Compressor off. We should be able to knock out Marsh Shadow. Actually, not knock it out, but hit it really hard. I think Strong Energy, Choice Band, Diancy, Shrine will knock him out. So we do have a knockout here. Yeah. And from there, we just kind of have to hopefully get more Buzzwools. Get a Zora or two. Maybe get Remory down. Should probably do the math. So 140. We're doing 60. 90. 110. Yeah, we might need to get Diancy here to knock him out, I think. Because we'll do 60, 90, 110, 120. So we need Diancy in order to knock out Marsh Shadow this turn. Rip, hit the DCE. Okay, let's see what else happens this turn. Muscle Band. Hopefully no Night Marchers go down or another Marsh Shadow. That would be nice. Okay, that actually is really good, because if he doesn't retreat Shaman, we might have another turn. So, we could potentially kill him with Trachium this turn, if I hit Counter Energy. But I think we just swing with, with Buzzwool. Ooh, that's a good draw. I might as well just dump the hand. I don't know, though. Actually, I don't really want to lose Sycamore. Or lose, like, another DCE. I think I just end him, actually, to be honest. Okay, we got where we wanted. We did get another Buzzle for next turn, so we do have the Sledgehammer available, which is powerful. We're not really going to have the greatest of hand next turn, so we're going to be in top deck mode, but we are getting some prizes, so who knows. We hit him really hard. One, Yeah, perfect. So, Diancy coming in clutch. Now let's see what we get. Supporter? Nope. Rip. The laser bank is good, but I think you rather want the shiny case of the heavy GX. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of the logic. That's kind of the idea there. Verbank laser does kind of work. You can play a viper, which could also boost your damage. Do you think Lost March will live up to the hype? I think it will, Weeby. Um, the deck has good types. Um, it might be a bit hard to uh, 
might the low HP Pokemon is like its biggest drawback, so it might be hard to like consistently keep things going. So it's kind of like one of those things you trade knockout for knockout, which can be hard to navigate, especially when you get when you get turns where you whiff what you're looking for and they get an extra knockout. So that's how you lose. But yeah, I think Lost March lives up to the hype. It is definitely a very powerful deck. Okay, does he have everything he needs? Does he have a float? Yep, rip. Does he have DC? He does, awesome. All right, well, at least he, uh, we're taking two more prizes here with Sledgehammer. From there, we just need to hit Zoro, and we should be able to wrap up the game. Hey there, greetings from Italy, man. Yo, Nasubu, welcome to stream. And um, I am from Italy, well, I'm not from Italy, but my whole family is. Um, but yeah, fun fact, I'm Italian. But uh, yeah, welcome to stream. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. All right, so here we go. What do we draw? Rip. So this might be bad if we don't get any good prizes here. All right, Sledgehammer, this is like the one turn. We need you to like win. Come on, here we go. Two prizes. Dang it. We aren't going to lose anytime soon. So you still need to take much prizes, but we're not getting anywhere. Gotta hope maybe he doesn't get DC. He does have teammates. That's bad. Italian hype, yeah. I've been to Italy before. It's been like it's been eleven years since I've been there. I've I've been meaning to go back though, because my my aunt my mom wants me to go back to like visit family members that live out there. So I might go back to Italy if I do. I don't know. I might be able to make videos in there. Yes, he can see. So never mind. We're perfectly fine, even with the bad hand. But that's what the deck is all about. I use it so much to grind the ladder, and it gets me pretty good wins. So if I'm like ever like oh I really want to grind the ladder out and you know. Get things going there you go and i'm really close to getting those 600 coins maybe i'll get them by the end of the stream so we'll probably go over to standard now try out some other decks like i said um let's just play some galissapod macargo i've been testing this out after it did well and it seems like a fun deck Ooh, what are we up against a lot of different types i'll go one day yeah italy's pretty cool it was fun to go there. I was there for two weeks. It was 11 years ago. And actually, fun fact, the whole time I was there, I got in trouble with my family because I brought my DS and I kept just playing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl the whole time. So that was kind of funny. Okay, so from this hand, it almost looks like we're playing a Buzzwool deck, but we're not. We are indeed playing the Aram. We're playing Glissapod. Our hand is okay if we get a Lily or something. Ooh, Turnator. I see. He's playing a different deck. All right, so... Well, Nest Ball for Wimpod. We did top deck Lele, which is beautiful. I doubt he's playing Enhanced Hammer. Well, Great Ball, so we can do an Instruct for one. Another Wimpod is really good. Really good start we got going on here. All right, let's see what Instruct gives us. Grass Energy, that's fine. Well, Lily for six. Pretty poppin' start. I could actually judge him, but I don't know. Ten years ago, I would have done the same thing. Yeah, literally, like, the whole time, I was just, I was playing my DS. Like, the whole car ride there, the whole plane ride, nothing but playing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Like, I vividly remember battling Team Galactic by, uh, like, the Crasher Wake City area. And, like, you battle the guy with, like, the Toxic Croak, I think. I vividly remember that, and I got, like, yelled at. <laughs> just because, like, it was, like, take in that we're in Italy, but you're on your DS. Unknown Missing with Giraffe Rig and Slow King. Yeah, those unknowns are going to be funny to play. I don't think they're going to be like super competitive, but they are going to be fun niche deck. It's funny that the Lele box comes out the same day Lost Thunder is officially released. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. I didn't realize that. I'd be able to enjoy it more being older now. Yeah, same. Like, I'll go back there, and obviously, I'm like going to be. I'll enjoy it more. So he's going to Kiawe to Rush Ram. Damn, the Black White Zork is so expensive. Yeah, it's a really good card. It's a really good one of in um, deck, in some decks. All right. Part of me kind of wants to just go with support him here. It's either I energy drive him or first impression him. Just to get damage on him now. I think I go for the energy drive. We'll get knocked out by Vermilion, but we're going to put him in a spot where it's like you need to find what you're looking for. All right, let's see. Do we get Macargo? We do not. We'll hit him hard, and then we'll basically say if you don't have what you got, you're in trouble. <laughs> Leave your DS at home. Yeah, my DS is right here. It's literally right behind my, my MacBook. Boom. I got the... Actually, let me show you guys. I got these Pokemon stickers on them. What do I have in here? What game is in here? Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. 
I haven't touched this in forever. Is it, does it even still work? I think it does. Yeah, it does. Still works. It's got a red battery, but yeah. I haven't touched in forever, though. I got like a Verizian sticker on the back. I uh, got Arcane Eye and Haunch Crow. Like, it's a pretty cool thing, but this DS means a lot because my grandpa got it to me and he died two years ago. So It's like a pretty treasured item I got. I'd rather, I just do emulators, though, at that point. Yeah, it's because not too many people have it, nor open black and white base, even, yeah, exactly. The, the Secret Resort is pretty expensive. Alright, let's see. He didn't play Fiery Flint, so he might not get much energy and play this turn. Let's see. One. Two. Hmm. I think we just bring out Buzzle and awkwardly force him to take an awkward knockout. Kappa. I'm playing Pokemon X at the moment. I have yet to play those games. Unfortunately, I am a scrub and have not played Pokemon X yet. Um, I do want to play it, though. I haven't played either Pokemon X or Y. I don't have a 3DS either. I kind of don't... I don't really play the video games that much. They're fun to play, like, every now and then, but, yeah, I haven't played them in a while. But, you know, it would be nice to get back into those games. I will force him to discard three energies and play to knock me out this turn. And we do have Guzma, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock out Victini after he discards all the energy in play. That seems like a smarter play. Because Victini will one-shot my Golisopod. By far my favorite Pokemon game. My favorite one is probably... Gold and Silver? Uh, either Platinum or Gold and Silver. Those... I like, honestly, the Hoenn ones are really good, too. Ooh, he's Kiawain. I kind of predicted he would do that. Okay. Part of me is tempted to flying flip him this turn, to put him in range of getting KO'd by uh, Coco. But, I think what I'm actually going to do is just Guzma, Sledgehammer, the... The Victini, I guess. Do I just knock it as active? No, let's take out Victini. Victini seems a little scary. I mean, Turdinator might be an issue, but let's just get rid of this Victini. I don't want him to, like, just Victini out of nowhere on my Glissopod. This puts him in an awkward spot. Uh, trade one for 10 Dragon Master Packs uh, the day after 8 for searching is so hard. Yeah, they. I didn't realize it was that expensive. But yeah, the Secret Rare one is really expensive. But yeah, not a lot of people have them. I loved the addition of Fairy. The Fairy is a cool type. It is nice that like there's more types. I, I bet you the next generation we get, we're probably getting another new type. I think we're due for like a remake announcement soon. And then the new... We're, Diamond and Pearl remakes are bound to happen like any time now. Which I'm pretty hyped for. I might try and get back into the video games then because I am interested in Diamond and Pearl remakes. I it's crazy. I remember getting Diamond and Pearl in stores. I, mean, I think I got Pokemon Pearl was my first game. I still have that DS chip somewhere in my room. So he's gonna talk about Turnator, which is what I wanted him to do. So now he's got no energy in place. So I can safely bring out that, hopefully. Never mind. Um Kinda wish I had a Guzma. It'd be really nice to have my cargo right now, but we cannot find it. I could just fine flip him here. He's really low on energy, so... Either I fine flip him... Or I... Just first impression knock him out? No, that's stupid. I think I will go for fine flip. I don't know, that seems a little risky. How many Guzmas has he played? None. Maybe I do just take the knockout here and then try and wrap up the game with Resolute Claws. I think I have to. I could cross and cut him, actually. Yeah, I guess we go for the cross and cut just in case. Hopefully we get Guzma and Macargo here. Okay, we got Guzma and Macargo. Perfect. So we'll put DC on top of the deck. No, we already have DC in our hand. We don't need it. All right, what do I really need then? 
The best card to grab would be a DC. I don't know. I don't think I need DC, but I'm going to put it on top anyways. I have both cards I need to win next turn. All right, we'll cross and cut him. Really weird matchup to possibly win, considering it's a fire deck, but it seems good. I love Fairy back in the day with Fairy Transfer, Plasma Golden Eggs. Yeah, Team Plasma Eggs are really expensive. All the Secret Rares are pretty expensive, especially like Blastoise, Execute, stuff like that, Garb Odor. Yeah, Fairy, yeah, I like the Romatis Toolbox decks too. Those are really fun to play. All right, Cynthia, which means we should win the game here unless oh, we did Field Blur Me. So maybe I should have grabbed a Choice Ban there. I kind of figured he would get rid of the Field Blower, but... Even if I do hit him, he's a flying flip away from getting KO'd, so it's not a big deal. And I don't think he's going to knock out this turn, so we are pretty safe. We actually do win, because we just Lily for the choice ban, assuming Lele saves me active. Yeah, I can see it's ripped. But that was a very interesting matchup to win, not going to lie. I did not expect to win that game. Because, you know, he's a... Uh, he is indeed a fire deck, so that was a fun match, but that deck is fun to play. Um, we're on a win streak. I might as well just go back to playing like a deck that I can like hopefully win another game with, just so I don't lose it. And right, ooh, we're up against Malamar. This matchup is kind of why I like having the Zoark, because Zoark is nice against Malamar, because they fill their bench up. So Zoark hits like a truck. Plus it can counter Dawn Wings, which is really what they use to counter us. So we'll see. Okay, so we got a very, 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 very good hand. Jeez. What a hand. Holy cow. All right, let's see what my opponent indeed starts with. Ooh, he's probably like, oh, this guy got four Pokemon to start with a rip. Ooh, he might be playing Giratina. Yeah, he is. Garboder. Ooh, this matchup is going to be tough. Zoar can deal with Garboder, though, thankfully, but Giratina is like, if he gets Giratina going, we're screwed because... Chaos Wheel, we ought to lose to. Almost. We have one fight energy in the deck, so there's that. <laughs> what up, Matt? You love catching your streams. Thank you, Spencer, and I've been doing good, bro. I've been doing good. Yeah, just thought I'd stream today. Um, I got the time to do it. Unfortunately, I don't have much time recently to live stream as much because of, you know, just being busy, college, I'm not great internet, and also just having, like, a lot of people living in my house because I do have a basement apartment downstairs, so I got people living down there. So it's really hard to find time to stream, but I had the time to stream today. I haven't streamed in a while, and I really did feel like streaming. So I was like, let's stream. A white Kira. Okay, I see what he's playing. Oh, it's Garbodor. Oh, okay. It's, I thought it was a Malamar deck, but I know it's Garbodor, white Kira. Pardon me, this is fine. And he's actually bringing it to the active. Okay, so that's fine. I don't really care about even damaging him either. Yeah, I think the obvious play is Ultra Ball, grab Dionce, and then Chorus for, like, a big hand. And then hope to, like, just, like, get Beast Energy or something. Rip. No energies. All right, let's see. Here we go. Strong Energy is good. Another Zoro is good. Yeah, Sledgehammer for an insane amount of damage. 110. I mean, we activate Raging Blade, but he's going to get knocked out next turn by either Buzzwool or Zoark, probably. Probably Zoark. I want to see you play Greninja GX Low Punny at some point. Ooh, what does Low Punny do, Spencer? Um, there's a couple Low Punnies. The one that I'm thinking off the top of my head right now is the one that allows you to put it back in your hand. I was actually playing against a Weavile Low Punny deck like a few days ago on this game. Oh, just a Via Sig for Bridges. My opponent, unfortunately, doesn't look like he has much. Unless he's grabbed another Kiram. Nope, another Chubbish. And no, just a Shred. Rip. So my opponent is not in a good spot. I think I just hold the hand, too. Okay, how many M's has he played? Two. We can afford to just put both stand-ins in place. Mench is completely full. Let's just knock him out. We don't really want to end him. Don't want to play the Via Seeker until we need to. Because Garboder ain't really doing much. Ooh, Beast Energy. That's huge. Toxipex... Uh, Malamar. I've seen some people talk about the idea of playing Toxapex with Malamar. 
I don't know. The problem with Toxpex, though, is it is weak to Psychic, so it gets beaten by kind of the own Malamar decks. Yeah, I ripped my opponent. Um, I doubt he's playing any Hammer, but I don't really want to lose his Beast Energy. I might just attach the Active, because we're actually not doing that much damage to him. Again, I think I just kind of just keep the hand, though. And if we have to, we'll Beast Energy him next turn. Ooh, there we go. He top decked out of it. I kind of, I was hoping he would honestly draw out of this just because I do want this game to play a little bit more. Toxpex GX, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, since Greninja can do the same thing, I think it'd be funny. Toxpex Malamar, Savali so Swampert. Oh, yeah, those are like funny little combos. Savali so Swampert seems interesting. I I had a, a, a Sogaleo Swampert deck built with the new Sogaleo promo that we just got. I was thinking about trying that out. I might still do that. And then I kind of shift it to a, a, a Lapras Sogaleo deck. Now he hits that Field Blower. That's pretty big. Still no White Crimson play. So all you really have to do is just wall through these Garboders. Uh, Diancy. I guess, buddy. I'm sorry, Diancy is like the most useless card right now. I don't think we need Diancy. He's probably going to try and Trash Knight to me this turn, which he does have the Knockout on because I played two items, so he's hit me for 80. And Dazzy Machine. For treasure, okay. Okay, he's gonna play the mysterious treasure, getting rid of a trouble. Ooh, he's gonna garbo toxin me. Okay. I guess I could have went for the Zork knockout, but like Buzzwell's kind of already served its purpose. I'd rather lose Buzzwell than Zork. I don't know. Maybe I should have just swung, but no, it's gonna trash land me, which is what I wanted him to do. So hopefully we're able to hit DC here, so we can knock him out Zork. Even if we don't. I think we'll be okay on items to not get trash lanched. I think we are okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to play a couple items down, but we should be safe to not get trash lanched. And we just gotta hope that DC here to get the knockout. Alright, let's see. Cole is coming clutch. Alright, nice. And we got Guzma, which could work next turn. Nice. Well, Mind Jack, Knockout Garboder, we'll take our prize. How many items has he played? I'm pretty sure he's played a lot, yeah. So we can do Foul Play and Knockout Garbodor too, if we need to. Yo, AS, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Lapras Sogaleo sounds spicy. Definitely want to see that. Yeah, there's a lot of Sogaleo combos. Got a lot of... I mean, how many days are left until uh, the Lost Thunder? It comes out on the 2nd or the 3rd. It's, what, the 22nd? So, yeah, we got about, like, 10, 11 days left. So, 10, 11... 9, 10 videos to make. Yeah, I can probably try and get the Sogolo Lapras video out by then. I do want to try Lapras Quagsire, though, too. But I also have a Quagsire Kyurem, uh Volcanium Prism deck that I kind of want to try out. So, I don't know. I do have a decent amount of deck content. Plus, there's all, like, the Portland decks. You know, we can play, like, expanded Portland Rogues. I'm probably not going to play... Depending if, like, a really good Rogue deck wins Portland or does well Portland, I'll cover that. Like, if, like, Zorgarp... Zoragard wins Portland. Who cares? November 2nd. Alright, yeah. No, yeah, 11 days. So, yeah, that should be, what, like 9, 10 videos? Um, so, we have the Guzma. We'll knock out the Trubbish. I mean, I guess I should have went to the other Zork, but I'm going to keep it alive, so who cares? Uh, we will play the Energy down, because why not? And we will Mind Jack knock him out. Should be able to win here. Hopefully, we get via Seeker. Nope. I guess what I could have done is held that, and I could have just used my Lele next turn. Man, I could just said that. 12, you count a day. Yeah. So, yeah. That's fine. I should be okay on videos. There's a decent amount of decks to make videos on right now. It's just kind of like, you know, are they really good decks? Or is it just filler? So, he's going to teammates. He does get the White Cure down, so... Radiant Blade come and play, but it's probably too late. Plus, once he knocks me out, we get Sledgehammer. So... I don't know, White Kyurem Garb's a fun deck, though, regardless. Yeah, it's going to shred me. I think he kind of accepted his fate, but that's fine. I'm just going to load up this guy, because why not? We'll be okay now to just mind jack him. Hit him pretty hard, 160 damage. And, uh, that should be game next turn. He'll knock me out with Shred or Raging Blade, but we'll finish him off with a Swing Around or a Sledgehammer. Ooh, an Ace Rolla. Shoot. Okay, that makes this win a bit harder. Now, we just gotta basically, we're just relying on getting to be a secret top deck now to just knock out that Lele on the bench. 
That's fine. Pretty good play, though, my opponent. But Zor did put in some good work. I guess I should have saved that Guzma then, just taking out the Giratina when I had the chance, but that's fine. We still have Sledgehammer right now, which is pretty good. I'm going to get Remory down so I can start getting ready for, um, what's his face? So I can start getting ready for Octillery next turn. Uh, might as well play the other DC, just in case we get end of two, and we will Sledgehammer him for 140. And we'll probably get KO'd, but as long as it's a nice roller, we'll finish him off. So we should still win the game. Streaming the fun different decks is a good idea. The one's not worthy of a video. Yeah, exactly. I, besides, I like uploading more like rogue videos anyways. I do like covering competitive decks though too. It is still good to cover them, I think. Um, but mainly I like to do like rogue friendly decks. But yeah, I like doing competitive decks also. It is something that I do still do. The one's not worthy of a video yet. What's your opinion on Zorora? Do you think it's going to be as hype as people are saying? Yeah, I think Zorora is really good. Honestly, Coco, Nagandadel, both combo really well with it. Well, Nagandadel, Coco is a better combo. But, yeah, Zoror is really good. It's got a good ability, great Jex attack, good first attack. It's just all around a very solid card. Ooh, is he going to type of cure me? He is. Okay, that's fine. If we still hit Guzma here, we can still win the game. Beast energy is huge. We can still win the game on Lele. Okay, we don't have Garbo. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we don't have Octillery. Rip. Fine. Tis fine. Um, no, we win the game. What am I saying? Yeah. No, we're only him for 160, right? Which is enough to win the game. I'm an idiot. Just gonna mind Jack. Yeah, we win. <sighs> okay. Bit of a uh, bit of a dumb mistake there. I can't even say well played, but GG to my opponent. Gyarados Driftblim. Ooh, interesting. I that Driftblim's really interesting. Maybe with Weavile, um, or Giratina, obviously. You can Octillery, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's whatever. But we are really close. I'm just going to do another game with the deck. Just, again, keep trying to grind the ladder out. We should be able to get those 600 coins very soon. Ooh, a fairy deck. I've written a Pokemon so many times trying to convince him to give me a mod account to no avail. I mean, really, um, OMG, it's Sark. The only way to get it is, like, you have to have... You have to have a following. I don't... You have to have, like, a following. I don't think they give them out anymore. I have talked to people before about getting one, because I also do kind of want one. It saves me a lot of money and also can help me make better content. But I have talked to people. Apparently, they don't even... They can't give... They don't even give them out anymore, or they don't give them out. Now, the, the last time they gave them out was, like, two years ago. So it's, like, it's been a long time since they give, they've given out uh, demo accounts. But, yeah, I've been in talks to getting one. It still honestly could happen. Not gonna say how. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say that, but I will say I could potentially get a demo account. Might not be a demo account for me, if that makes any sense. I don't really wanna say what I'm talking about, but there is potential that I could have one in the future, but I don't know. I've been in talks, but apparently they don't give them out anymore, or if they are, it's not gonna be for a while. So I don't know. We'll see. Gotta flip this coin though, I don't want to be taking forever. Alright, so this might be a fairy daily Evo deck, or it could be a Sylveon. If it's a Sylvia it's a Sylveon deck, that name looks very familiar. This is Sylveon, which is basically an auto loss, right? Right, Sylveon's an auto loss. We'll see. We got a good starting hand, though. We got the Strong Energy Shrine, so we're going to be able to get some damage on him. I really hope it's a random Gardevoir deck, though. I really hope it's not Sylveon. Yep, okay, good. Because Sylveon, it, well, it still could be Sylveon. But, yeah, Sylveon is a nightmare to play against. Don't even think he's playing any stadiums. All right. I'm just going to pass for now. In case he does delinquent me. Personally, some of them don't deserve a count. I don't really want to go into like any drama. I've written a Pokemon. You bet. You put better effort into the decks you make and actually know what cards do. Ugh. Than what the cards do than most other YouTube PCGO players. Do you go to a Pokemon gym? Unfortunately, Panda, I do not. Yeah, it might be Sylveon Gardevoir. Looks like it is. Uh, I guess we Cynthia. Hope to hit. Close to him. Or DC. 
Okay, we got Zoark, but no DC or float. I guess we'll Ranguru, get rid of a Shrine and an Ultra Ball. Draw like two cards here and hope to hit the card to get out of this. I don't really want to end him though, so we'll see. No. Okay, we got Karina. Perfect. We can grab Floatstone with that. No drama. Yeah, I just don't really want to get any PC Joe drama. But, I don't know. I'm hoping one day they give out demo accounts again, or they, you know, give them out to a few people. Yes, they can see. So, free win, just like that. Just saying, I like your content the best. You keep it real. Thank you. Thank you, Sark. And there we go. Signature coins. So, 700... 7,000, sorry. 200 coins. How much is that for packs? That is... 36 packs, I think. So, not bad. And now we're very close to getting the Guzma. Alright, well... We got the second coins. I could probably just mix it up again. Play a different deck. Um, I kind of honestly kind of want to keep playing Expanded. I don't really feel like playing Standard. Um, what to play? Let's play some Buzz Bats. Why not? I haven't played this deck in a bit. Ooh, this is Rodom. Rodom's decent, though, especially with the Crobat spam. Six turn coins. Yeah. Thanks for playing with me. I was Tim's Matthew with Akiram Garb. Um, hit me up if you want to do some collabs. Oh, thank you, Pickpocket. And, uh, yeah, GG, dude. GG. And I, for sure, I'll consider it. If you want, you can, um, add me on PCGO. I think my friends list might be full. But if you do want to add me, I, you know, we can talk if you want. But, yeah, GG. The ace roll of play, I think, really caught me off guard there. Uh, butt me up. LOL. It's all good. Uh, we'll start with Buzzwool. Uh, do we want to play this guy down? I think we do. This hand would be nice if we had an energy in it, because we could do Karina for, like, a level ball, grab a Zubat, and just swing for... swing for whatever. Yeah, it's a Rodom deck. Okay, we can be Rodom, assuming he's not playing four Psychic Rodoms. Actually, wait, Psychic Rodom is weak to Dark, right? No, it's weak to Psychic or Dark. That means Crowback can shred it. Either way, this matchup is not that bad at all, but you have a lot... We, low HP Rodoms are very easy to KO with Crowbat spam. Not too worried about this matchup. So he's going to computer search. He's going to get rid of... Okay, a lot more. He's definitely going to be able to attack me next turn. That's fine, though. I mean, this Frost Rodom is not a big threat, though. Okay, he's going to Sycamore. Ooh, Skyro. Didn't expect that. Okay, Frost, or Heat Rotom. Buzz Bats. Yeah, this deck is fun to play. Oh, Belt. Okay, there's Landorus. Uh, do I want to end him? I guess we have to discard the hand. I really want to just hit, like, a good good hand. Okay, that's fine. Uh, We'll get rid of... I guess we'll Colrus next turn. That's fine. We'll rely on Chorus. We'll grab Zubat. I really was hoping we get, like, multiple Zubats down. Because Crobat's going to be really good in this matchup. And we'll just Jet Punch him. We don't play Dianthi in this deck. Something, I guess, you could play as Dianthi. But I didn't put it in just because I don't really like it in here. There's, there's already too much bed space I think you need. But I guess is something you need. Against Rotom decks, I used to troll them and play Latias GX with the ability to block damage. Oh, that would be an auto win. Especially now that, uh... Yeah, now that Hex is gone, you know, Rotom has no way of winning. Dang it, it is weak to Dark. I was hoping that was going to be weak to Psychic. So, Buzzwool is going to get KO'd this turn. We'll Sledgehammer and finish him off. But yeah, Laddie SEX definitely counters it. Didn't consider that. Did not consider that. Alright, hopefully he fills his bench up decently well so I can at least, like, get a good chorus here so I can try and get a couple more Zubats down. This matchup isn't terrible. Crobat's really good here to just snipe off these, like, low HP Pokemon. She's gonna knock me out with Plasma Slice. That's fine. We'll be able to respond with the KO. Lander's gonna have to be our other attacker. It doesn't really get KO'd by Frost Crush. There is another Zubat. That's what we needed. So we'll chorus for 7. What do we get? Sudo Widow, that's okay. I kind of feel like that's bad, though, in this matchup. So, what do we want to do, 22? Probably the Fighting Fury Belted guy, because that thing's going to have a lot of HP. 
I don't think Soda Widow matters. It's good discard bait right now, actually. Yeah, let's let's just get rid of Soda Widow and a strong energy and let's just grab another Zubat. Silver Stretcher, we can always get back that goal back. And we have Scoop Up. Alright, let's see if we survive the turn. Silent Lab and Garbo Toxin do the job too. Yeah, Rodon's like an interesting deck. It's fine, I guess. I don't think it'll ever like be like a deck someone brings to a tournament, but it's a fine enough deck to play. It's fun. It's annoying to play against on your side. It's kind of like a it's like a reverse night march in some ways. But yeah, the deck just gets beat by Garbo Toxin. There's a lot of counters to this deck. Wob effect, Garbo Toxin, Silent Lab, Laddie yes, yeah, X. A lot of counters. It's a funny deck. Alolan Muck also just destroys this deck. It's a fun meme deck. I don't think it's something you could bring to a tournament, though. Alright, let's see. Does he hit another Rodom? He doesn't. That's really good. So we get a lot more Sledgehammer KOs. That's fine. I was hoping he would do that, actually, so I could scoop up. I don't have Guzma, right? No. Okay, we have Karina. Ooh, 120. Because I have that energy in play. Okay. Scoop up, do your thing. Wow. Okay, well, I think we have an Ace Rolla. Yeah, we'll Ace Rolla. Um, yeah, do I want to put Landers back down? It's better than having, um, yeah, I think I will. It's better than having Buzzle in play. Yeah, you can see it's, hey, there we go. And we got a present box. Let's see, 375 coins. Nope, two more tickets. I have, like, 500 tickets now. Almost. I need to spend those. I need to spend those. Let's do another Buzz Batch game, but I think I'm actually going to add Dioxy. Screw it. We're going to add it to the deck. I, have, I feel bad not having it. I don't know. I feel like it's relevant. Okay, that's not standard. All right, so we'll add uh, Dioxy to the deck. Probably just get rid of the other Sledgehammer Buzzwool. I feel like bench space is really hard in this deck for like finding room for Dioxy, but I think it's still good to play one in the deck anyways. Just that 20 damage goes a long way. Shadow Stitching, yeah, Greninja, yeah, Greninja just creams him also. Rodom's fun, but it has a lot of counters. But if you actually don't have a way to counter it, the deck's actually kind of kind of impressive. It can do some evil things. Alright, looks like we're against Archie's Blastoise. This is like basically basically an auto loss, I want to say. Basically not a loss. Buzzbatch kind of wants to play against like Zoar, Night March, lower HP decks like Rodom. Stuff like Archie's Blastoise gets you get you get run you get a run for your money. But Landorus isn't good. I don't know if he's playing Mewtwo or not, so we'll have to just watch out for that, I guess. And all right, we got we got to find enough start, assuming this Colrus gets to do work in the coming turns. Yeah, it's a budget deck. Yeah, basically, Rodom's a budget deck. You don't, you don't have much money, you can't buy that many cards, definitely, you know, just play Rodom, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, rip. Really be nice to just laser bank him right now. I've seen Rodom Radicate be fun. Alright, get Tails. Wow. Rodom Radicate is, like, a fun idea, too, but, again, Rodom is just too much of a meme deck. I've seen people play, like, Rodom Zoark, though. Just play the Psychic Rodom and, like, have, like, Zork trade away all your tools and then Rodom that way. So there's some fun ideas you can do with, with Rodoms. They're fun to play, but they get countered really hard and expanded. Standard, they're a lot easier to use, I guess, because there's not that many counters to it. Rayquaza GX is a budget deck. Yeah, Rayquaza is the best budget deck to play. Zork is also a good budget deck. Kappa, no, I'm just joking. Alright, so let's see here. He definitely has the Archies, because that Order Pad gets heads. I've seen people talk about Order Pad, but uh, it's really risky. If you don't get heads at the Archie Blastoise deck, it's like, it's not good. But when you get heads, you almost guarantee the Archies. That's the thing with Order Pad. It literally guarantees you Archies in some situations. Back in the day, I also get Sarah Night March of the budget deck, too. Yeah, it still kind of is, to be fair. Marsh Shadow's not that expensive. Oh, wow. I'm on Snapchat right now. My friend's snapping me a video of him and he's at a basketball game, and this guy is doing the floss. Oh my gosh! Okay, so he definitely has it. Yeah, Rip, he got rid of a Blastoise.
Ooh, Archies. Okay, so he does have it. Let's see what else he does. Uh, Boswell could get KO'd this turn. That could happen. That would be very bad. Okay. He, I'm actually just hoping he puts Memo Misery here, because, like, Colrus isn't even doing much anyways. I'm only drawing, like, three cards. And we're focusing. Alright, so he's got an Ultra Ball. Does he get the Docket? I don't think he does. He's playing that? Everyone's playing this Archie's Kingdra. That's two games now against Archie's where I played against that. I guess Kingdra is the new best tech for Archie's deck. Hepaclaws. No, nah, it's fine, but I don't know. It's just, it's trying to do double Archies is, like, really bad. Especially if they knock out your Blastoise, then you can't really get the Kingdra in play. Uh, Kingdra could be okay, though, with Blastoise. Maybe just, like, Archies, Kingdra, the opposite way around. Play Rare Candy, Blastoise. Uh, no Pokemon. I was hoping we would get that. All right, we Chorus for four. Beautiful hand. Um, rip, 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 rip. We could, at least we can, like, play the Stretcher. We can stretch our beast ring. I guess that's like decent. If we're able to get an energy too, we could sledgehammer. Maybe dock him out. Alright, that's not bad. We'd actually be in a good spot right now because we could set up like a sledgehammer KO on like Keldeo and stuff. Alright, let's see if he's able to knock me out. He's bringing out Blastoise, so he's relying on what Keldeo can do. Keldeo's gonna need a lot of energy to knock me out though, so hopefully we live. Maybe we can do like a scoop up combo. That'd be pretty evil. Just a pass. Wow. Oh, that is... Okay, we could save that. That's fine. I'm just going to keep pound away this Keldeo in case he drops a Rough Seas. I'm just going to hold that in. We don't want to play it, obviously. We don't want to give him a new hand. He could set up an Archie's play, though, soon with three cards in his hand. Watch out for that. There's a Zubat. I'll just keep keep hitting him. We do knock him out next turn, too, if he doesn't get this Blastoise of the active. He's probably going to want to do that, but then Keldeo gets knocked out, so... Either way, Blastoise and Keldeo are getting KO'd here. Which is huge. Alright, let's see. We might actually be able to take three prizes if he doesn't do anything crazy. We could Golbat, knock out um, the Blastoise with the with the Jet Punch and on the Keldeo, get it for 80, and then Jet Punch that. We got rid of a Lele. Does he have Stretcher? He has it Ed. Alright, so he's going to Ed B. My nose is very clogged. But I think this will be like the last game of the stream, guys. I'm actually about to go out soon. Hey, yo, Isaac Clark, welcome to stream. How you doing today? And there's Rough Seas. There it is. Rough Seas is going to make this a bit more complicated. But yeah, it's probably going to be the last game, guys. I'm going to be going out soon. But yeah, this is most likely going to be my last game here on stream. But good game to wrap up the stream. Should be an intense match. He's not KOing me, so we can maybe scoop up here, which I think I'm going to do. See we draw. Ooh, strong energy. Okay, so let's try the scoop up. If not, we'll ace Rolla. The one time it's prized. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. I can knock out Blastoise this turn. 50, 70, yeah, let's knock out Blastoise. Been a good stream, thanks for doing it. Thank you, Capital. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can try and stream a little bit more now. Um, it is a little hard just not having, just, you know, having a lot of unfortunate things happen, but I will try and stream again in the future, every now and then if I get the opportunity to. I don't think, something crazy, maybe I could live stream at my school. I could book a study room. I did it once for when I recorded a video, so... Uh, I think we gotta keep put damage on this guy, so we just have to keep hitting it. I know he's gonna heal it, so we did zero damage to it, but I think we kind of keep it up. Ooh, Focus Sash, that's huge. We got rid of Blastoise, though. So. What do you think about Virzian GX incorporated with Baby Septile Venusaur? I think Virzian is okay. I think it's definitely gonna work. I think it's a good card. Virzian GX GX attack might honestly be more interesting, though, than his main attack. That GX attack, though, in like, in like, Oh, stall deck is good. So we knock him out here. We could probably win the game. Okay, so... We kind of do that. Yeah. We just need to get energy. 
And we are not guaranteed to hit it. Oh my gosh. Wow, we did hit it. Oh, I kind of figured that would happen. Oh man, I'm surprised though. Okay, this is not good. Not good at all. I can't really give him a prize this turn. I think I have to go into Buzzwool. I can't give him a prize because, like, we'll lose Sledgehammer. Your friends list is full. Any other way to contact you? Uh, yeah, after this game, Pitpocket, I'll just quickly unfriend somebody on my friends list. And uh, then you can add me. We can still Sledgehammer KO him here if we find energy. So, yeah. But I'll just quickly unfriend someone if you want Pitpocket, then I can uh, add you. Or if you want, just drop your in-game name in chat, and I'll copy and paste it, and then I'll just add you later. But this was a pretty successful stream, guys, I would say. Uh, the one thing I like is we did get some... We got a couple games with some of the decks I do want to make videos on in the future. Okay, as long as it doesn't field blower me, which he's probably playing one of it, considering you need to play it for Garboder. So as long as it doesn't field blower me. I'd like to add as well. If you want, Ken Joni, you can. I'll consider it. Um, yeah, after the game, I guess I can unfriend two people. I don't want to keep on friending people, though, that are, like, all my friends. Those, oh, this guy hit Archie's on that. Okay, as long as I didn't find, like, a field blower, we should still be okay. Though we could go into the other Keldeo, but we could still set up enough damage to knock him out with Sledgehammer. Okay, so he's gonna Secret Sword me for 110. Can we draw an energy? That works, too. Okay, so... Maybe our way to win is knock out that Lele. So let's just target that Lele. Energy. Just barely. Just barely got there. I'm going to have to sacrifice Choice Band and Ultra Ball to get there. But that is good. We got the dock out, which is what we wanted. Uh, I'm going to use a strong energy so I can save the base energies for Crobat. And then our way to win is just going to target that Tapu Lele. Because he cannot heal that. Golbat. Another energy is pretty good. Uh, thank you very much. Main game name is Tim's Matthew. Yeah, that's right. I actually played against you. All right. But yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, add, I'll add both of you guys right after this game. Pit Pocket and Kanjoni. Or Kangoni. Sorry if I butchered your date. Ooh, Articuno. Is he going to take the knockout? Nope, he is going to Sky Return knock me out. That is fine. So, yeah, our way to win is just maybe just try and take out that Lele with Crobat. So I don't think he has a way to heal that. Well, no, is he played Ace Rolla? I haven't seen one yet. I'm gonna trust that he doesn't. We don't have a counter stadium. Either. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We'll get rid of We'll get rid of Sycamore and Soda Widow. How many actually how many VS series have I played? No, we'll get rid of Guzma. No, I wanna get the Guzma in hand. Let's get rid of Soda Widow and Sycamore. We already have VS Seeker in hand. We're going to be a little reliant on the fact that he doesn't heal that Lele. But let's just hit it. We'll scoop up. It might also considering scooping up my Lele there, just so it doesn't get knocked out. But we'll keep sniping him. And we sh might be able to knock him out next turn if we can get double Crobat. Just got to hope he doesn't heal. He might be playing Ace Rolla. Oh no. Oh, the street might be going rip, guys. Video output low. Awesome. It's kind of the problem with streaming at my house. My internet's not that great. Yikes. Hopefully the stream is okay, guys. I mean, I mean yeah, I'm going to end it off this. I'm going to end after this game anyways, but still. What do you think of the new Lost March? Yeah, Lost March is going to be good, Isaac, for sure. Depends on how, like, the deck really performs. It does rely a little bit on abilities and stuff, but I think that'll be fine to set up. I think Lost March definitely is going to be an established archetype. Okay, hopefully... The internet problems go away. But after this game, you know, we're not on the stream, so it's fine. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram, at pipbuckitcg. Okay, well, I don't actually use Instagram for, like, YouTube, but I can, I have, like, another account, I guess, I could use it on. See, I can hit you up there. Okay, let's see what he does. He should knock out my Crobat this turn. Hmm. You guys can knock a Crobat. It is nice we have to force to play that much energy, so. So, uh, let's see. It would be nice to maybe do, like, a Beast Ring play, but we can't anymore. Nothing via Secret Rip. Okay. Well, Cynthia. Yep, Cynthia draw six. Here we go. 
We gotta hope Lele's safe, but Lele should be okay. It went out for a bit, but you came back quickly. Okay, good, Richard. Okay, we didn't get... Ooh. I can't Landris him. That sucks. Do I win this turn? No, I don't. Um... Okay, let's get rid of... We'll keep one Landris just so we have the Jet Punch play for next turn. We should be able to hopefully win next turn. Assuming Lele lives. I guess I should sacrifice Dauncy, but... Assuming this Lele doesn't get Ace Roller, and assuming this guy doesn't get KO'd, we should win the game. Very intense final match, though. He still has a Guzma. He's played two VS Seegers. His hand is pretty big. Kudos. Really hoping he's not playing Ace Roller. No, just a knockout. All we have to do is get our last Crobat, and we win the game. Let's just top deck it. Karina. Okay. Uh, we can't even Ultra Ball. All right. We're going all in here, folks. Oh, we whiffed it. Oh, we actually whiffed it. We whiffed. That sucks. Okay. As long as he doesn't have that Guzma, I'm going to scoop up my Blandris here. Dang it. <laughs> we actually whiffed the Crobat. Wow. This guy lives with 10 HP. I guess I should have went to Lele, but whatever. He probably has Guzma, it doesn't really matter. Uh, before I go, what's your favorite Lost Thunder card? Um, probably would just be I, Alola Ninetales, hands down. Alola Ninetales. Alola Ninetales, definitely my favorite. Um, but that'll wrap today's PDCGO live stream, guys. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a while since I've live streamed, but it felt good to come back to the stream. But I'm going to wrap it up today, guys, here. I'm going to try and stream another time in the future. If I get, like, a good opportunity to do it, I will stream again. Um, but thanks for stopping by, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to unfriend some people here for you two guys. Don't forget. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good night. And thanks for stopping by on today's stream. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.